Repair windows update automatically with this new tool. In just a few clicks, take the frustration out of fixing Windows Update. Let the tool handle the downloads and installations. This intelligent tool detects the CPU architecture and differentiates between 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7 to seamlessly install the right updates. Simply run the tool, restart the PC, then check for updates. Windows Update will be working again. Let's take a deeper look at how this tool was made. I have a folder here that contains the updates needed in order for the check for updates to be successful. The first order of business will be to open a command prompt window. Holding shift and right clicking on the folder should give us an open command window here option on the context menu. Now to see what switches are available with the installer package for the Windows updates. Take the name of the file and type slash question mark after it. Here is a list of available switches. We can use slash quiet and slash no restart. That way, no user interaction is needed and the PC won't reboot before all the updates have been installed. Next, we can open Notepad and start typing out some batch file commands. From here, we can list the file names of the updates, followed by the slash quiet and slash no restart switches. Make sure that the batch file is in the same folder as the updates, then we can run the batch file. The command prompt window will stay open and appear blank while the updates are installing. Let's see if Windows Update is working. Fantastic! The check for updates was successful. We don't want updates to start installing before the user is informed on what the batch file will be doing and has the option to either continue or exit. To do this, we can add a line to the batch file under CLS, start with echo so the text will be visible to the user, followed by some message, like this batch file will install the necessary updates to repair the Windows Update feature in Windows 7. Press Control Break to exit. The user is now informed on what the batch file will do and has the option to exit or continue. Let's add a line before each update telling the user what the update is and that it's being installed. That way, while the batch file is running, it will look like something is happening and progress is being made. Let's take our improved batch file to a different system that doesn't have any of the updates installed yet, so we can see what it'll look like from start to finish. The footage is sped up at this point, the updates are not actually being installed this quickly. And there we have the prompt to restart the computer. There is a tool called wget that we can use to download files via command prompt. We can start by grabbing a copy of it and placing it in the same folder as the batch file. We can open up our batch file and add lines to download the updates, which is wget followed by the URL for the update. Just repeat the process until we have the lines for all seven updates. Now we can run the batch file. We should see each update download in command prompt and the files appear in File Explorer. We are making excellent progress. The batch file is very good. What would make it nearly perfect in my opinion is if we can detect the CPU type and be able to automatically download and install the updates for a 32-bit system as well using the same batch file. Let's give it a shot. Back in the batch file, we can add some language here about detecting the CPU type, so the user will be aware of what's happening. The actual mechanism that will do the work for us is an if statement, using the variable processor architecture. Spelled out, what we are asking the batch file to do is check the CPU type. If it is AMD64, go to the label 64-bit. If the CPU type is anything else, it continues to the next line, which is echo 32-bit CPU found, and proceed with downloading and installing the 32-bit version of all the updates. Of course, we will need to repeat all the work we already did by replacing the URL and file names with the updates for the 32-bit version of Windows 7. Now to test the updated batch file on a 32-bit system to see what happens. When attempting to install the first update from command prompt, we get an error. 
I have tried several things to update the certificates on this system. I actually found a very useful tool that does that automatically. Clearly, this issue will require significant troubleshooting. In terms of solving the problem, the first of the servicing stack updates will not install and is apparently not needed, so it has been removed. And there is an additional update that is needed, KB3102810. This update doesn't have a name other than update for Windows 7, and it cannot be found on the Microsoft Update Catalog. Installing this update did make the difference between Windows Update working and not working. So there we have it, the Windows Update Repair Tool.